On this page, we will look at the voltage and the current and the impedance on the transmission line in the case of an open load termination. An open termination implies that the load impedance ZL is equal to infinity, which also means that the reflection coefficient gamma is equal to 1. And remember, this means that the visuar defined as the, the voltage standing wave ratio is equal to 1 plus gamma divided by 1 minus gamma and in this case it's equal to infinity. Let's now write an expression for the voltage at point Z. Since gamma is equal to 1, we have the following expression, which can be simplified to a cosine function. As always, there is a time dependency that I'm going to write as e to the j omega t. Similarly, we can write the an expression for the current notice the negative sign in the reflected current and this expression can be simplified to a sine function with the time oscillation noted by e to the j omega t. <coughs> now I can write an expression for the impedance defined as V of z divided by I of z. Now finally this can be simplified to a cotangent function. Notice that j in front, which means that the impedance is purely imaginary and purely reactive, which also implies that there is no real power transfer happening, something that we're going to look at in a little more detail later. It's also helpful to write the voltage and the current expressions in the time domain. The voltage as a function of Z and T can be written as, as a mul multiple of two cosine terms, where the first cosine term gives the maximum amplitude at any point z on the transmission line and the second cosine term gives an instantaneous amplitude at a given point in the transmission line. The current can be written uh, as, um, as sine of beta z multiplied by sine of omega t. And because the, the two vo uh, vectors in the complex domain the current and the voltage vector have a 90 degree phase difference between each other. 
that implies that in the time domain, one is a function of cosine of omega t and the other is a function of sine of omega t. And that's why also the impedance is purely reactive. Now let's plot the maximum amplitude of the voltage on the current on the T-line as you move away from the open low termination. And it's always the maximum amplitude that we're plotting. The instantaneous amplitude can be found um, when you plug in the time dependency. So we start at z equals zero, which is right at the, at the open termination. And we'll make our um, gradations equal to lambda over four. And we'll go up to a full wavelength away from the load. First we'll plot the voltage and the voltage is given by the cosine function and so it obtains its maximum value right at the load equal to 2V naught plus and quarter wavelength away it's zero. The current on the other hand is a sine function and so it is zero at the load and it obtains its maximum value quarter wavelength away equal to V naught plus divided by Z naught Now it makes sense that the current is zero right at the load because we have an open load. The load impedance is inf infinity. While the voltage is equal to twice the incident voltage, which also makes sense because the total voltage at the load is equal to the incident voltage plus the reflected voltage. And they add up in phase together when Z is equal to zero. So at the load, um, the impedance Z is equal to infinity. Now if you move a quarter wavelength away, the opposite becomes true and the voltage is now zero and so the impedance is zero. Uh, 